The Link Size WT54G is a Wi-Fi capable residential gateway from Link Size. The device is capable of sharing Internet connections among several computers via 100 Mbit S802.3 Ethernet and 802.11 BG wireless data links. The firmware used in these units varies between versions. According to OpenWT, the Link Size WT54G series used several different processors, all of them 32-bit MIPS architecture processors, most manufactured by Browardsom. Hardware and Revisions, WT54G The original WT54G was first released in December 2002. It has a 4 plus 1 port network switch. The devices have two removable antennas connected through reverse polarity TNC connectors. The WT54GC router is an exception and has an internal antenna with optional external antenna. As a cost-cutting measure, the design of the latest version of the WT54G no longer has detachable antennas or TNC connectors. Instead, version 8 routers simply route thin wires into antenna shells eliminating the connector. As a result, link size HGA70 and similar external antennas are no longer compatible with this model. Until version 5, WT54G shipped with Linux-based firmware. WT54GS the WT54GS is nearly identical to WT54G except for additional RAM, flash memory, and speed booster software. Versions 1 to 3 of this router have 8 MB of flash memory. Since most third parties' firmware only use up to 4 MB flash, a JFFS2 based read write file system can be created and used on the remaining 4 MB free flash. This allows for greater flexibility of configurations and scripting, enabling this small router to both load balance multiple ADSL lines or to be run as a hardware layer 2 load balancer. WT54GL Link Size released the WT54GL in 2005 to support third-party firmware based on Linux, after the original WT54G line was switched from Linux to VX Works, starting with version 5. The WT54GL is technically a reissue of the version 4 WT54G. Cisco was sued by the FSF for copyright infringement, but the case was settled. WTSL54GS WTSL54GS is similar to the WT54GS while adding additional firmware features and a USB 2.0 port which can be used for a USB hard disk or flash drive. Unlike other models, the WTSL 54GS has only a single 1.5 dB antenna, and it is not removable. WT 54GX WT 54GX comes with SRX, which uses true MIMO technology. It has three antennas and was once marketed as a pre-N router, with eight times the speed and three times the range over standard 802.11G routers. WT54G P2 and WTP54G, WT54G P2 has one or two antennas, and a built-in analog telephony adapter with two phone lines, but only three network ports. Vonage WTP54G has one antenna, two phone lines, four network ports a Euro same SN prefix, WT54GX2, WT54GX2 has two antennas, and was advertised to have up to six times the speed and two times the range over standard 802.11G routers. Chipset Realtk. It is not compatible with DDWT. WT54GX4. WT54GX4 has three movable antennas, and is advertised to have ten times the speed and three times the range of standard 802.11G routers. WT54GX4EU, chipset Realc RTL8651B, radio chipset Ergo AGN303BB, flash S29GL064M90TFIR4. It does not appear to be compatible with DDWT. WT51AB, WT series with 802.11A support. WT55AG, WT54G series with 802.11 support. WTR54GS, 
The Lynx size WTR54GS is a confusingly named derivative of the WT54G. It is a compact wireless travel router with speed booster support that has only one LAN and one MON fast Ethernet interfaces, but has two wireless interfaces. The WTR54GS has the ability to make an unencrypted wireless connection on one interface, and make open shared connections on the other wireless interface, or the LAN port. The default gateway IP address and default management address is 192.168.1.1. WAT54G2 The WAT54G2 is an iteration of the WAT54G in a smaller, curved black case with internal antennas. This unit has a 4 port 10 100 switch and 1 MON port. Note 1.5 of the WAT54G2 is not supported by DDWAT. This is because it uses a Ferros component which require more than the 2 MB of flash memory built in for a DDWAT solution. WAT54GS2 The WAT54GS2 is the WAT54G2 hardware with a VXWorks 5.5 firmware including Speed Booster. It has a sleek black design with two internal antennas. It includes a 4 port 10 100 switch and one 10 100 one port on the rear. WAT54GC WAT54GC series with 802.11BG support. This unit has a 4 port 10 100 switch and one one port. The C in the router number stands for compact, as the unit measures 4x4x1 four by four by with an internal antenna. The unit can be expanded with addition of HGA7S external antenna to boost range. Hardware version 1.0 is the only option available in the United States since introduction in 2005. Version 2.0 is shipping in, amongst other countries, the United Kingdom. This unit has 1 MB flash, 4 MB RAM and a non-detachable external antenna. The internal hardware is based on a Marvel ARM914 reference design which is probably identical to the Circum IP806SM, Xtris's XR2407G, a Bocom ARM914, Hawking HWGR54 Revision M, and the Erlink 101AR315W. By appropriately changing the value of the firmware byte 0x26, the WAT54GC can be cross-flashed with firmware based on the same reference platform. There were reports in 2006 that a sister platform of the WAT54GC was hacked to run Linux. WAT54G3 GWAT54G3 GV2 Mobile Broadband Router, a variant which is four fast Ethernet ports, one Internet wired port, plus a PCMCIA slot for use with a cellular-based PC card air card. The V2 model has an additional two USB ports for 3G modem use and one other USB port which has yet to be put to use. Other cellular providers, to use this router with other cellular providers, one must use an alternative firmware provider. The stock firmware does not support cellular providers, even though one does have the exact supported aircard for example TELUS Mobility uses the Sierra Wireless Aircard 595 which is supported by this router, but because it is from TELUS Mobility and not from Sprint, it will never load the card into the router to make it operational. This is only true for the Sprint and AT&T branded models. WAT54GTM, WATU54GTM, and WATU54GV2TM. The WAT54GTM is also called the T-Mobile Hotspot at Home service. It allows calls to be made via T-Mobile's GSM network or via Wi-Fi on licensed mobile access, using the same telephone and phone number. Additionally, once a call is in progress, one may transition from Wi-Fi to GSM seamlessly, as Wi-Fi signal comes and goes, such as when entering or exiting a home or business. A special router is not needed to use the service, but the T-Mobile branded routers are supposed to enhance the telephone's battery life. This is the only known tweak to the TM version of the firmware. The hardware appears similar to that of the WAT54GL, except it has 32 MB RAM and 8 MB flash memory. 
the WRT-54 GTM having a serial number that starts with CO61 has these specifications, Broad Zombie CM5352 EKPB GCPU, 32 MB RAM, 8 MB flash, uses the same bins that the WRT-54 GSV 3.0 does, WRT-54 GRG, the WRT-54 GRG is also called the Rogers TalkSpot Voice Optimized Router. It works with Rogers TalkSpot UMA service, which allows calls to be made via Rogers Cellular Network or via Wi-Fi on licensed mobile access, using the same telephone and phone number. A UMA-compatible phone is required. The WRT-54 GRG and the WRT-54 GTM are identical in terms of hardware. WRT-54 GH The WRT-54 GH with internal antenna has a four-port network switch and supports Wi-Fi 802.11bg. Third-party firmware projects, after link size was required to release the WRT 54G's firmware source code under terms of the GNU General Public License, there have been many third-party projects enhancing that code as well as some entirely new projects using the hardware in these devices. Three of the most widely used are DDWRT. Tomato and OpenWRT. Hardware versions affect firmware compatibility. As of January 2006, most third party firmware is no longer compatible with version 5 of both the WRT 54G and the WRT 54GS. The amount of flash memory in the version 5 devices has been reduced to 2 MB too small for current Linux based third party firmware. Some users have succeeded in flashing and running a stripped down but fully functional version of DDWRT called Micro on a version 5 WRT 54G. An easier method not requiring any disassembly of the device has since been devised for flashing V5 V8 to DDWRT. To support third party firmware, LinkSize has re released the WRT 54G V4 under the new model name WRT 54GL. It is also possible to replace the 2 MB flash chip in the WRT 54G with a 4 MB flash chip. The Micronix International 29LV 320BTC90 is a suitable part although others may work as well. The user must first install a JTAG header and use a JTAG cable to back up the firmware, then replace the chip and restore the firmware with a JTAG cable. After testing for proper functionality of the modified unit, Third-party firmware can be flashed using the JTAG cable and a suitable image file. With the attitude adjustment release of OpenWRT, all WRT 54G hardware versions with 16 MB of RAM are no longer supported, and older backfire is recommended instead. Issues come from dropping support for the legacy Broad Sum Target BRCM 2.4, making lower-end devices run out of memory easily. Support for attitude adjustment is limited to WRT 54G hardware versions with 32 MB of RAM, what includes WRT 54GS and some of the WRT 54G and WRT 54GL versions having the capability for unlocking their additional 16 MB of RAM. Default settings, IP address, 192.168.1.1, web interface username, admin for most routers. No username or root on some, password, admin, see also. References External links, link size by Cisco website, WRT 54G LV 1.1 SD card mod with open WRT, link size WRT 54G A Euro a successful wireless router saga, complete disassembly of the link size WRT 54G router, further reading, Paul, a Saturian. Link size WRT 54G Ultimate Hacking. Singress. ISBN A 978 1597 4916 62A.